Hey, welcome to CNET's Cracking Open. I'm Jason Heiner with my partner in crime, Bill Detweiler. And today we're gonna crack open the Tile, a Bluetooth tracker that you can use to keep track of your stuff yeah. with an app. So Bill, what are we gonna do? We got, we got several um, tiles that we're looking at here. Why don't you tell us what we're gonna do with these? Which ones are we gonna crack open? Yeah, so we've got four tiles here. There are a lot of Bluetooth trackers that have been out for several years now. Um, we have the Tile Slim. Yep. We have the old Tile Mate. Uh, we have the new Tile Mate. And then we have the new Tile Pro. These have evolved over the last five years or so. And we thought it would be interesting to see how the technology inside the devices maybe has changed a little bit. The new ones, they have a replaceable battery now. Nice. Before you had to actually, when the battery ran out, you had to send it back to Tile. They had a retile yeah. program that you could participate in where they would send you a new one, recycle the old one. Um, I doubt they were actually taking these apart and sure. putting new batteries in them. They're, as you know, as we'll probably find out today when we crack these open, they're not really made to be taken apart. So yeah. this has a little longer range too, the new it one, right? Does, the Pro yeah. has a little longer range. Yeah, it does. And that's something else that we thought would be really interesting to kind of find out how they're getting more range out of uh, the same device. There's also a, a network effect here, right. right? Where if you lose this, even though it's only Bluetooth, there's no GPS in this, right? No Wi-Fi, no uh, mobile network. Um, but you can actually potentially find something that's lost. You can, uh, Tell yeah. us how that works. So the magic here, like we've seen with a lot of cloud tech, a lot of IoT tech today, is really in the cloud, right? Yeah. So the And on the app, the software that you have on your phone. These are Bluetooth, so it's not Wi-Fi, it's not GPS on the device itself. But thankfully, your phone does have cellular Wi-Fi yeah. and Bluetooth all built in. And so through the app, it can access that functionality. And what happens is, if you were to lose something in your house, you could go to the app on the phone and it would help you. It would give you a map and tell you where it is. Help you locate You can it. make a uh, ring and make a sound. There's a speaker inside these things. Nice. That's gonna be cool to look at. We're gonna take a look at that. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that too. And you can actually have the phone ring if the app is open too. If you lose your phone, you can click the button. Uh, the little tile logo ah. here on the top is a button. Um, if I push it there, you can hear it making the noise. Ah. Um, it will actually make the app uh, through a notification system on your phone ring start making to noise. start making no okay. noise uh, on most phones, uh, even if it's on silent, depending on which version of Android you have. Okay. Um, so it's really cool. And if you lose your devices too, this is what you were talking about with yeah. the community, right? Yep. So if you lose your device and it's out of range of your phone, you might be thinking, well, how in the world am I gonna find that? Well, what Tile's done is basically if you can put your device using the app or using their web portal into lost mode, what that does is it allows the tracker to be detected by everyone else who has the Tile app running on their phone, right? Which they have so, a lot of customers. Which they have worldwide. a lot of customers. So yep. as someone else, as other people who are using the app on their phones or at a restaurant or at an airport or at a hotel, and they detect your tile, that uh, location, the time, and the date of that detection will be sent back up to Tile's cloud servers. You can see it, you can hear it turn off. Yeah. And then you can, they will report that to, to you. You can log in and see uh, see where your device is. Well, it's pretty really clever. Cool. Pretty yeah. Clever. Pretty clever. So we're going to take a look at, at the technology that makes this work. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's take a look. So now one of the things when we take these tiles apart, what's really interesting is we don't need as many tools as I usually do on our cracking opens. Uh, we're basically, there's no screws inside these. We're just going to pry them apart. And the one we're going to start with is the 2016 uh, Mate. I'm going to try to do this without stabbing myself in the hand. Uh, but basically we can put a small tool here uh, in between the top and the bottom and just kind of pry it loose. Now I don't expect these to go back together, so it's okay. I'll try to show this on the close-up shot so you can kind of see us getting inside. Now that we're inside, I can kind of pop the pop the separate the two halves and I'm actually going to switch to a little larger screwdriver, which we usually don't use on cracking open, but gives us a little bit more leverage here. And since I'm not worried about putting these back together, um, that's okay. You can kind of hear the plastic and the glue separating. All right, so there we go. This is the 2016 Tile Mate, and we can see the circuit board in here. Pop this out. 
And there we go. The next one we're going to take apart is the tile slim. So again, we're going to go in, start popping them loose. So you can see we've already managed to get in between the top and the bottom layers. All right, so we peeled the top off of our tile. We cracked the plastic a little bit. We're not worried about that. And here's the inside of the tile slim. So we'll come back to that. We're going to keep going. And now we're going to look at the two new 2018. This is the 2018 tile mate with the replaceable battery. So to replace the battery, we can pop the back off. And then it has one of these little button cell batteries in it. We'll pop the battery out. We're going to use a tool and we're going to separate the top and the bottom halves. Now that I've got it loose, we'll move into our large screwdriver here that gives me a little bit more leverage, makes it a little easier to separate the two halves. Boom. And with that, we can see inside the new 2018 mate here. We'll set that aside so we don't get them mixed up. And then lastly, we're going to take apart the uh, Tile Pro. Now this one has the uh, longest range of 300 uh, feet, and, and it has a metal ring, a metal frame around the outside of it, This and designed to be a little more rugged. Unfortunately, the back on this one has a tendency to be the stick. It's a little more difficult to remove. Pop it loose. And there's the battery, the battery cover. I'm going to remove the battery here. Cracking this one open is a little different uh, than the mate. Uh, we're going to remove the metal ring first, and then we're going to separate the two halves. <laughs> Okay, well, we can see the metal ring, and then we've already separated our two halves, and here we have the circuit board. So now that we have them all taken apart, let's look at the internal hardware and see what it tells us. All right, Bill, so you've got everything apart. Tell us uh, what are some of the differences between the different tile products? Yeah, so we have the 2016 Tile Mate here. We have the Tile Slim. This is the new 2018 Tile Mate with the replaceable battery and the new Tile Pro. All right. Now, some of the interesting things that we saw in the internal hardware right off the bat is between the Slim and the other Tile Mate products. Yeah, now, all right. The Slim was a little more difficult to crack open. I'm going to hold this uh, so that we can get a sh tight shot yeah. of it with the camera. There's a lot of glue. Um, or yeah, there is. In there, isn't There's there? a ton of glue. So this is uh, the circuit board and the insides for the 2016 Mate, uh, and this is the Tile uh, Slim. And so you can see, number one, there's just. Uh, there's this glue, there's this rubber-like plastic sort of coating or that surrounds uh, this flexible uh, circuit board that's yeah. in there. Um, there's also no button cell battery. Okay. This has a thin, this lithium ion cell here where you can see. That is thin. Um, yeah. We can also see, and you see this on all four products, these little piezoelectric uh, elements or uh, membranes, basically. So these function okay. as the speaker yeah. um, here. Uh, you can see there's a metal outer ring, and then that sort of makes contact with a couple contacts on the circuit board here, and it vibrates. It's a little noise maker. Yeah, it's a noise maker. So it's multi-tonal. So uh, it's similar to like the 1980s watch, or yeah. like year old. Yeah, the know, beeps and Casio boops that you get out of a watches, uh, old PDAs, things like that okay. have these. Uh, little piezoelectric elements in them. The same is true on the old Mate. All of them have okay. these type of speakers on them. Um, other things that are kind of interesting to talk about, right here you can see the antenna uh, for the, the Bluetooth uh, connectivity. We can see a button contact there. I'm going to switch over and I'm going to grab the uh, 
okay. old mate. What you see here on the board, and this is something that we see across all of the tiles, which is really important, is this the large uh, IC here, this large chip, that's the uh, Bluetooth sock. And so basically within that sock, and you have a... System on a chip. Yeah, system on a chip, you have a processor. So these are usually, uh, I believe, ARM-based uh, processors and a Bluetooth, the transceiver, the radios inside them as well. So this is handling all those processing functions. You have this larger chip right here. Uh, from what I've been able to find from the markings, this is the um, piezoelectric element driver. So this is the ah. speaker driver chip. Ah, this ah. is the chip that actually controls the tones that come out. Um, and then you have the antenna which is right here. It's, it's, it's built onto the motherboard or the, the circuit board. There's no daughter boards on this one. Uh, it's a you know force of habit calling yeah. it a circuit board, uh, yeah. a motherboard. Um, and then you have a button contact, which is r right there on the back. That was the 2016 okay. uh, Mate and the Slim. Yes. So let's look at some of the differences between that and maybe the, the Pro new stuff. And, and the new. Yeah, so again, new I'm going to put all the circuit boards sort of back to back. Okay. And they're very, uh, they're very similar. This is the 2018 Mate. Same sort of configuration, basically. You have an antenna here. Okay. Just like we have on the Pro. Again, an antenna there. The large Bluetooth socks. Um, yep. I believe, from what I can determine, these are both Toshiba uh, chips. Okay. Um, and they contain, like I said, an ARM, a processor in them. And then you have the other large chips, the one here, the one here. Uh, these are those piezoelectric powering uh, drivers sound. powering the sound, okay. too. One of the things, uh, you know, that we were looking at that we wanted to see was how, like I said, how, how this technology has changed. And one of the things we can see is the batteries have definitely changed. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to put these next to their uh, main... Uh, the boards the board here. they go with. The board they go Great. with. So these are little button cell uh, lithium ion batteries, right? And yeah. so what, what's unique about that, and one of the things that could contribute to the higher, uh, the, the longer range of yep. the newer models could be the batteries. Pushing more power. They're all three volt batteries, but because some of them are larger, they have a higher capacity. So on the top end, you have a capacity, I believe that's around 160 uh, milliamp hours. On the low end, you have a capacity that's around 120 or so milliamp hours, right? And so you're getting a little higher capacity out yeah. of uh, the, the newer products that could contribute to the range. Okay. If you're going to uh, buy one of these, if you're going to, uh, uh, whether you're going to use it to just find your car keys or whether you're going to use it uh, to find a wallet or to find whatever it is, yeah, definitely I recommend getting the newer models, making sure that whatever you buy, you uh, get the new one with a replaceable with the battery replaceable in the description. Battery. Um, yeah. Otherwise, because they look very similar, so you might uh, actually buy one of the old ones uh, by mistake if you're just not careful. All right, that's it for this episode of Cracking Open. If there are other devices you'd like to see cracked open, leave us a note in the comments. And you can find all of our Cracking Open videos on CNET. You can find all of the photos on Tech Republic. And we'll be coming to you next time with another Cracking Open. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.